everybody, it's Deb with Deb's Cool Finds. Hope you're doing well out on, for me, a beautiful Saturday. I hope it is nice wherever you guys are and you all are doing well. I am here with a small Timu haul, so I thought I need to open it because I want what's in it. <laughs> I want to have time over the weekend to do something with some of these items, so I need this opened. And uh, welcome, welcome to my channel if you've never been here before. And welcome back, y'all, if you're my subscribers, my amazing, kind, supportive subscribers that I have. So lucky to have. Um, anyway, um, I also want to tell you that I have a code if you've never downloaded Timu before. I have a code AFI40068. So first of all, down below in that box, description box, it says more underneath me. Uh, click on that. You'll get another thing. Click on more again and a big description box should open up. And in there is a link for any first time Timu downloaders to download the app. It helps me out a bit and helps you out at the same time because it will give you uh, it's at least a hundred dollar coupon bundle. And who doesn't want coupons and saving money, right? That's why we're on Timu. Um, but then you use that code for AFI40068 on your first order, and it will give you 50% off of your order. Try using it on subsequent orders. I do not know. I haven't heard back on anybody who's tried it, if it works, if it doesn't. But can't hurt to try it, right? In the discount code uh, little box, you can type in AFI40068. All right, down to business. So, how did I get this item? Um, I think this item, this item was free. That's what I'm trying to remember. You're like, well, you ordered it. That's how you got it. No, uh, it was free. <laughs> I'm using my Timu handy dandy little, uh, little uh, opener. So, it only opens as long as you're pushing that button. So, it's a little safety mechanism, hopefully. But it opens these packages up nicely. So, this nice little package is a freebie. Um, I believe this freebie was because in one of the games, at one of the games, I think it was in Farmland, there was, or it was either Farmland or Fishland, of course, uh, there was like a game within a game, and I kept winning that, you know, I kept playing that game until I won, and then I got this item for free. So I cannot see much on this, I can't put a link below to it, I guess I could try and find it, um for you but I I paid nothing so that's the price I paid and I can't see the current price is what I'm trying to say it won't let me on the, on the app so that's the only item in here I did win fish land again so those items are being shipped at this moment I'm excited for that so if you were one of my friends on fish land please go to my community box or even down in the description if I remember but in my community tab you move those tabs over below here you'll see community uh, in there, I put my new code so you can be my friend on there. I think you can help each other out. But this is a garden item. It's an enchanting metal fairy garden stick. And if you've been with me for the last haul or two, I've been trying to get cute little things to put out in my little garden without plants. So it's a fake garden. Because uh, <laughs> I'm not great with plants. Uh, I'm great with fake stuff, though. So anyway, um, <laughs> it, uh, I'm just trying to make it more enchanting and cute to look at when I go in my bedroom uh, and then when I come home at night I kind of see it to the side when I'm walking to my front door so it just makes me happy and what's life about right so you gotta be happy so it made me happy now they shipped it in this little plastic bag and then in the bag but they did attach it to a little piece of cardboard so it did stay pretty dang nice it's metal she's a little bent but it's a thin enough metal that I can bend her little basket back they taped her to it, so let me carefully remove that. Hopefully no residue will stick. And then it's taped down here. Yay, so we'll get rid of that. And there she is, but I think you can see her better on here with a background. So yeah, there's my little fairy. So she's just got her beautiful wings. She's made out of metal. It's very thin metal, okay? But it's beautiful, it's a nice size. There she is, just sitting on a plant, watering. She's watering my plants, it looks like, or carrying a basket of plants, I'm not sure. Um, and then this little stake just goes into the ground. You can put it into that level, and it looks like a little fairy on a plant. That, that yeah, from my, does my camera need cleaning? I'm going to clean you for a second, maybe, and, uh, sorry. Let me see what I can clean you with. Let me try this. Uh, bye for a second. 
All right, hopefully that might help with the glare a bit. <laughs> Have you ever been cleaned like that before? Sorry to get so personal with y'all and clean you, but you know, you were a little messy. Oh, that helps immensely. <laughs> Duh. Okay, so there she, <laughs> she is. So there's a little basket she's holding. So this was bent out just a tad and I easily just, you know, can bend it and make it flat again. Um, but yeah, there she is and there's her stake. Like I said, you can put her into the ground and that's what she'll you'll be looking at. So that's adorable. If I got a little light, if I could get a little solar spotlight that would have an extension to the solar part, because you know I need that, um, I could actually light her up in the evening. But look how pretty she is. Look at her against that background. Yeah, there you go. Hi, Bella. That's my dog who passed away, my best buddy in the whole wide world. Uh, so there she is. One of my amazing viewers made that for me on her own from a screenshot and diamond painted it. Blows my mind how talented some of y'all are. It's amazing and how kind because you didn't have to do that. And it's just, I was gonna put her up somewhere, but I like coming into this, my guest room and seeing her there. And I like having her on camera. And so she's here for now. <laughs> Maybe when I get my next, my next new best friend, um, <laughs> she can go someplace else. But for right now, I like her there. All right, now we got another little bag. Now these things I did purchase. So let me find that order for you. Quit, quit, quit. Just keeps taking me back to the same stupid thing. Leave, leave, okay. Um, there's my order. So I got some more things to kind of, whoops. Or a thing at least, at least one thing to put outside. I can see. Okay, so sorry, I was arranging my tablet so I could see it. Um, which is the sharp side, that side. Let's open this out. How y'all been doing? I hope you've been doing good. I've been doing good. Got promoted. I hope y'all saw that post. I got promoted at work. I am now an assistant property manager, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but my mentor and best friend at work, Wise, has decided she was moved up here to Dallas to fix the office because they had to let the whole prior staff almost go. Uh, so she came up to fix it and then she helped hire me and she's been training me and mentoring me, but she's decided she misses Houston and all her friends too much. So she'll be going back at the end of the year. Well, well, I know I'm sad. Um, so I'm so excited about the pro promotion, but I'm apprehensive about it because I just, don't know how it's going to go without her there and what the new person will be like that takes her place and everything like that and will they see me the same as she did and help me to grow and stuff or will they just want an assistant kind of you know oh, my duties haven't been defined yet or responsibilities haven't been defined yet or anything so I'm just kind of in limbo land and I don't do good with limbo land <laughs> but anyway I'm trying to stay as positive as possible and I'm learning as much as I can from her before she leaves all right this next item I got for $2.38. What is it, you say? Well, let me tell you. Oh, and it comes in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors. I chose white. This is for work. This is, you can get it in two pieces or four. I got it in two. Um, it's called a deluxe adjustable document holder. Rotatable, flexible, and double-headed clamp for computer monitor, for canvas. Maybe if you paint, you might need this for typing, whatever perfect for handy artists, students, and office workers. So like I said, it comes in different colors. You can get it. I just didn't care. I wanted white. There's two of them. I'll show you one. So sometimes when I'm entering stuff on a spreadsheet I'm creating or I'm typing a document and looking at another one, you know, a physical piece of paper, um, and I need to use that information and put it in to maybe like a big Excel sheet or something. I'm always having to like hold it or prop it up or whatever. So I saw this and I thought, let me try it. So it looks like this part, the bigger clip, so this is just like a big old clip, potato chip clip, <laughs> that will go on your monitor, okay? So that'll hold it, and then you can put it, you know, on the top of it, the side, whatever works. I think the side will work best for me. And then you've got these parts, which will help you to rotate it. So you could do all different kind of configurations as to how you want it to go. So if this was on the side of your monitor, and then you'd hook, You'd hook a piece of paper into this this clip. So you got your little clip for your papers and your big clip for the monitor. So that's on my monitor. 
here's the paper I want to work with. Maybe I want it farther out. Maybe I want it closer to me so I can see it. Maybe I want it farther away from me, you know, because I can't see far, you know, can't see close, whatever. I just thought that was a really cool thing. So it's pretty easy. I'm sure to loosen up a little bit in its movement, but it's pretty easy to use. And yeah, that's gonna that's gonna work wonderfully on the side of my monitor to help me when I do have an instance where I need a paper to copy. So that's going to work. That goes in the work pile. Yay! So that's a good buy. It's still two dollars and thirty eight cents. Um, it's got it in black, white, red, an, a yellow, um, a clear. That's kind of cool. But that was sold out. The blue sold out and the light green is sold out. So right now they have it in black, white, red, and yellow available to you. And again, you can get it in two pieces or four pieces. And the two pieces are $2.38. So good deal. I'm addicted to this. I'm telling you, it's just, I just need these. I enjoy putting these together. These are the... Lowe's or whatever, so they're fake Legos, <laughs> Legos, L-O's, um, anyway, so when they're super, super cheap, and they're cute, and there's something I might like, I buy it, so I'm not a cat person by any means, I, first of all, they'll kill me because I'm allergic to them, um, yeah, I, I tried once when my daughter was little to get her a cat, and no, didn't work out, I was on so many medications, and nebulizers and um you know what i'm trying to say those things uh, that i no we finally had to give her a cat to her aunt too so she could still see it but it wasn't in our home because it was killing me so even though this is a cat i still couldn't resist because it was a dollar and 42 cents and it'll keep me occupied for a little bit and i have fun doing it um it has the instructions also as a user manual pdf you find those in your order under the item it applies to, if there is one. So check that out when you order things. Uh, but this came in a whole bunch of things. This is the cat. It came in a corgi, uh, a hamster, a dolphin, penguin, rabbit, chick, an owl. And then you could get a twofer. You could get the cat with the rabbit or you could get the cat with the chick. The corgi was like three bucks or I would have got that one. Um, but he's just a dog sitting there. This one <laughs> is a cat looking in a fish tank. What? So, yeah, cute anim animal figures, building block set, educational toys for children, whatever. It's for me. Uh, so it comes in a nice big bag, and, of course, they put the sticker over the picture. So I'll show you on the screen in a second. But they always have them in plastic and kind of divided up. Oops, excuse me. I'm gone. I'm back. So here's your pieces, and what I, why I said for children hmm, is because, can you see, these are teeny tiny pieces. So I would be careful as to the age of your children. There's the fish! <laughs> see how sorry, but see how tiny the pieces are? I'm so excited. I'm such a geek with these. Oh my god, look at how little the flowers are. They're just so tiny. Anyway, so that's your bag of that. What we got here? Oh, I got a little bag of stickers. That must go on there someplace. Okay. And what I really like about these is almost always there are extra pieces. Um, because they're so tiny that if you lose one, you're like, oh my gosh, I can't find it anywhere. Uh, so, yeah, I'm loving that. So, on those stickers, I probably won't use all four of those because they give you two of each. See? Um... I noticed on the stickers on the last one that I made had stick the little coffee one, coffee shop one, had uh, extra stickers. So that's pretty cool. And this, I've no, oh my gosh, this whole thing just for this? Wow, this whole package, that little, I don't even know if you can see it, there's a clear piece right there. <laughs> oh my goodness, all of that for that one little piece. And then the instructions are not words. So you just follow the pictures. And I have said that the pictures can get a little confusing as to where does that piece go, what, what. And I've had to take apart some little sections sometimes to be like, that's not looking right. What did I do wrong? Uh, but it tells you how many pieces they are on the top and it shows you what they look like and the color of them. Uh, but then so see step one, they're just showing you a picture and how many pieces you use and what piece it is and you just 
put it together, right? And you got to follow those little arrows to be like, okay, that end of that should touch that end, or maybe it should be on the second circle. Or, yeah, it gets confusing. And then, but it's not, it's not horribly difficult. And just, I'm picturing this as a child too little would get frustrated with this because it's not as clear as like a Lego set would be. Uh, but then you're not paying a dollar forty for a Lego set. Uh, anyway, so so yeah, and then they gray out or blue out the piece that you've already created. Where here that you've already created that bottom piece. So you made in step one, you made whatever, and then in step two, say the blue part is what you already created, and then the colored parts are what you're putting on that creation until you build all the way down. And then you can kind of see on here the outcome of what it's going to look like. It's a cat, where are you? It's a cat looking in an aquarium. So, how cute, for a dollar? Right now it's a dollar 78, still a great price. All of them are adorable, but oh my goodness, they're a little cute cat looking in the fish tank. Look at him, he's like, I'm gonna eat you little fish. I'm gonna just wait till mama's not home and you are a goner. Is that not adorable? So cute, so freaking cute. There's the chick. <laughs> with the little duck. <laughs> oh my goodness, the rabbit. Look at that chick, the owl. And then there's the ones that you can get multiples of. There's the whole set. Uh, where is he? There's the corgi down there. Oh my gosh, look at that dolphin jumping through. That's adorable. I mean, they're just, there's the corgi. They're just, oh my goodness. So the corgi came with a bowl of food, cute, but cat looking in a fish tank adorbs and all of those items each of them was a you know the prices vary per item but anyway i love it okay what's next something big oh okay i wanted this friday but i didn't want to open the package without you sorry i couldn't wear it friday uh this cost me a little up price on this one seven dollars and 47 cents it is now $8.78. It is a vibrant leopard print twist dress, stylish, stylish plunging v-neck, short sleeves, midi length, comfort fabric, perfect for spring and summer women's clothing. Comes in a small through an extra, extra large. And why I said I wanted it Friday is part of my new job. Um, so, like I said, I'm learning everything I can from the woman that's leaving, right? And so when she did her property inspections, I went with her on Friday. And I knew we were going to be getting in and out of the car. And it was, you know, 90-something degrees out and da-da-da-da. So dresses are just more comfortable and cooler, you know. But I don't want them super clingy or super showing in the areas I don't like. So we'll see if this will do me good or will be cruel to me. But we'll see. Gotta get into my walking and exercising again, girls. I have been horrible about it. Girls and guys. Sorry, didn't mean to. I do have some guys watching. Hey, guys. <laughs> you don't need wealthy men who need a wife. No. Uh, anyway, so going on. <laughs> this, so it does have a nice plunge to it, but not like too, too. You know, not like down to your bra wire. It's a little higher up. So that will be nice. And then you really can't, I'll show you on her, but right here in the middle, it does kind of, gather and it's got a little twist there I don't know if you can tell that but hopefully you can in the picture some nice short sleeves it's a really cute little leopard print and then it goes all the way down to the bottom and then a nice nice width on the bottom there so I'm hoping this is nice and will work for me the back is just yeah plain but it is separated here at the waistline so it's got like a little higher waist on it but let me show you it on her because that's a little easier not that it's going to look like that on me, but not at this point. It will when I keep doing my food and exercise. But there it is. So you see how it gathers kind of right there at the bust line and kind of gathers underneath your bust line. But yeah, there you go. And then is there a back picture for you? Whoops. Slide. <laughs> Slide. There it is on the back. A lot of the pictures they take, they always pull them up like that. And I'm like, I want to see how long it is on you. Stop doing that. And then it also came in this design. That's pretty too. But um, that's 12 dollars 
And then the one I got is eight seventy eight. So can you figure out why I got the leopard one and not the blue and white one? Yeah, price. Okay. <laughs> and those are good even in the, you know, if it's not northern winter, probably. Uh, but that would be really cute with a pair of boots, brown or black boots. Maybe a little biker jacket over it, kind of wear that to work. That would be really cute for the colder times. So, yeah. Versatile. Versatility. We need versatility in our clothing. Make it. Make it that way. Um, this next one I got because you'll know when you see it. It's just my thing. Uh, but it was $3.28. It is 8 by 8 inches. And it is a vibrant coastal aluminum wall art piece. It's durable metal sign for garden, bedroom, blah, blah, blah. It is now $5.48, so I got a great price on it. Just wait. Put stuff in your cart. Wait. See if you get one of those, hey, something in your cart is on sale. Then grab it deals or, yeah, or it goes on a lightning deal, whatever. Just, yeah. I mean, if it's something you absolutely have to have, go for it. But if it's something you can wait on and find a better deal, you know, get the best price. Remember to do that trick, too, of you click on the item. You, you go into an item that you like. You click on one of the pictures. So the picture comes up separate. And then on the very top in the right-hand side, uh, there's a little picture of a camera. Click on that. And it'll show you all the items on its site that are the same as the item you picked. And the farther down you go on the list, the more it'll... You know, um, get away from the original picture. But anyway, the first few of them will be that same item and you can check prices from different sellers and you might be like, oh my gosh, I can save this much from this seller compared to this seller. Save your money. Oh, it's pretty. It's pretty. So you can tell why I got it, right? Come on. <laughs> so this is going to go up on the outside wall. And luckily it is not bent. They did send it in this between the cardboard, okay? And you can see the cardboard is bent, but it seems to have bent around the circle and not the circle. So hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Timu. Thank you, Customs, for not ruining my sign. I have watched other YouTubers get metal signs, and they're all wonky and bent. But my little fairy came lovely, my metal fairy there. And then this came good. So yay. Oh, that is pretty. Now, is there a cover on it? I don't think there's anything on it that you have to peel off. Let me make sure it doesn't say that. Um, it's 100% aluminum, 32% higher bending resistance than similar products. Uh, waterproof. It is pre-drilled with a hole here for you to hang it. Um, HD printing. Weather resistance. They pack it in corrugated cardboard. They certainly did. They did a great job of that. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of... I'll show you this one picture. It reminds me of when I stayed in Greece. In, uh, Me where, where was that one? Mykonos. Anyway, yeah, it's it's metal. It is a little flimsy. You know, you, you could easily bend it, but don't. But it has a screw, you know, some place for you to hang it on the bottom and the top. And then it's just beautiful. I think it's beautiful. It's a palm tree. It's your seagull. You got your beautiful clouds. It's the sunset. It's the waves with the vibrant colors, the beautiful flowers and the sand. And I will be there at the end of the month. <laughs> so excited. Uh, but yeah, so that is adorable. I think that is a thumbs up for sure. Oh, I love this. So yeah, if I'm going to hang it on my wall out there, I'll probably put a nail, a tiny nail in each end just so that the wind doesn't, you know, make it all wonky. Okay. Anyway, this is what making this is okay. It reminds me of two places. The whites and the blue in this picture remind me of when I was in Mykonos because they're. If you ever get the chance, oh my god, it's so beautiful. Anyway, all their streets are like these stone streets, and then the buildings are white and everything's blue on it. It's just, and they got these exquisite trees with these flowers. Ah, oh, and they're gorgeous. <laughs> it's a gorgeous picture. But there's your little your little sign. So yeah. It's adorable. But yeah, you don't need that sign there. It's just, the place is beautiful enough without any decorative items in it. <laughs> um, yeah. I should have been born in, in Greece. Uh, anyway, <laughs> mom. Um, here's a piece of jewelry. I just liked the colors. And even in the bag, it's looking, it's looking. Cross my fingers. Uh, it's a one piece 
ring. Of course, it's one piece. Uh, 71 cents. And um, it's a one piece exquisite boho. They use exquisite a lot. In their descriptions. Uh, boho vintage rhinestone band ring. Silver plated paved waterish mosaic. Um, unisex detail party accessory timeless design seven sizes seven eight nine and ten I got it in a large size so I could wear it on my middle fingers um, this is a carnival cruise ring so forget it but look at that look at it it's just all the way around beautiful gemstones every color you could wear it with absolutely gorgeous and of course the blue is my favorite so I see blue yellow pink red very dark green a purple the green almost looks black but it's green oh no there is a black stone too <laughs> so there's a black stone right where's the black one all right the one in the middle is black that one's actually green the over here is purple it's just beautiful beautiful I like that it goes all the way around. Definitely a fave of mine. Oh, I love it. 71 cents. Come on, y'all. It's 73 cents right now. Go and grab it. I've got the links and the item number below. If the links do not work for you, uh, just take that item number I put in there, just the, the numeric number, put it in the Timu search bar, and it'll bring you up to the same item seller as I purchased. Oh, I've been waiting for these. I thought I, I was like... Didn't I order these? And I must have had them in my order and somehow they got out because I've been want, expecting this in the last three orders and I have to look at the order going, oh, no, they're not in there. I swear I ordered them. So I finally ordered them. <laughs> I've been wanting them. So this I got for 74 cents. I got the 10 piece set, five colors in total, um, two pieces per color, which, yeah, 10 cents. So five colors, two of each. Size E. Did you hear that? Okay, whenever I hear noises like that, I live alone. So I'm like, oh, what was that noise? And at first I was like, what was that noise? And now I remember. I, I bought a bottle of Dawn dish soap at Walmart today. And so I was filling up my soap dispenser in my kitchen. And I filled it all the way, but I wanted to get the last dribbles. So I did the thing where you stand the one on top of the other and kind of hope they stay that way so it drains and it must have just have fallen off so no damage anyway these are 10 pieces 10 pieces of premium plastic pp i don't know what the pp means cream spatulas so they're soft flexible and gentle facial mask and eye cream scoop sticks for easy skincare application unscented pretty uh, non-irritating and easy to clean cosmetic spoons so there are all ten of them so you see the beautiful colors the blue the pink purple gray and white and so basically I just want it because you know like face cream moisturizer some cleansers come in like a jar and when you first put it in there it's easy to get out and it's if you have a little longer nails when it starts to get a little lower and you try to scoop the you know, moisturizer out, it gets under my nails, and it's just a mess. And I saw these, and I'm like, genius, why have I not had these my whole life? <laughs> so they just help you get in the jar and get the cream or cleanser or whatever you can use this for. Uh, just gets it out so without messing up your nails and stuff. Um, same with my body cream. Um, when it was nice and level, and I would just scoop it up and put it on my arms, everything's great. Well, now it's got a little scoop in it, and every time I do that, I'm like, ah, oh, it's under my nails, and I'm trying to get it out from under there. It's just a pain in the tissue. First world problem, right? Yeah, there's lots of things in the world to complain about, and that's what I choose. But it is an issue for me, so... <laughs> and Timu has solved it. So, yeah, they're just little, thin little plastic scoops. And what's also good about them is they'll help you get every last drop out of there, especially... I don't have expensive creams, but if you guys have expensive facial creams or whatever uh, stuff... You want to get every single drop of that. So this will help you scoop that jar clean. <laughs> so, and there's 10 of them. So you can have one for each different thing you're using. But yeah, I love it. I think that's such a genius idea. Uh, so, so simplistic, but it's going to make my life a little better. 
Uh, it is 0.59 inches wide at the scoop end. And the length is, it's hard to read on the colors they put it on, 3.2 inches. Yeah, 3.2 inches. Just little enough for those littler, you know, like moisturizer jars and stuff. Oh, I've been waiting for <laughs> such a simple thing. I've just been waiting for it and waiting for it. Every time I go in there and it goes under my nail, I'm like, where are my scoops? Give me a scoop. So, yeah, I have it. Uh, yay me! 99 cents. Now, what did I pay? Did I get a deal? Yes. 74 cents. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what's depressing in a little way? I have a no. I have zero price adjustments on this order. So, one way I feel good because I got the best price possible on them when I ordered. And the other part's kind of bummed because I just get a kick out of getting those price adjustments. <laughs> I think I have one more item. Do I? Something feels... Yep, that's it. I don't know if this is going to work. Um, but I'm going to try it. I should have measured it and I didn't, but I think it's right. Anyway, what am I talking about? I know. $5.48. And it's in rose gold. It comes in rose gold. Golden, because it's not gold. Rose golden. Golden. Black. Or silvery. Um, it's for my watch. So it's a one piece 20 millimeter, 20 millimeter metal column type full rhinestone fashion smart watch replacement strap for Samsung Galaxy Watch 6, 5, and 4. I believe I have a 4. Or maybe I don't. I don't know. I'm hoping it works. Um, elegant and sparkling accessory. Easy to install and comfortable to wear. So let's hope it works. And then I didn't make a boo-boo by ordering it quickly and not taking the time to verify it. So it comes with the little pins that I need. If you have a Galaxy Watch, you know that you have to use these pins to put them in. Oh, it's in plastic. But it's in weird plastic. Like, how do I, how do I get this off without wrecking it? Oh, it's in like, yeah. And the end isn't wide enough to come over the end, so you can't get it off that way. Here, let me put it on this box and try and cut my way into my watch band. That sounds ridiculous, but it's true. Um, let's go here. Come on. Mm. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's like it, it's like it was wrapped around it but I can't find maybe I found the start of the wrap but anyway if you have these kind of watches do you like to switch out the bands I mean I think I guess from what I've kind of seen never really investigated that the eye watches are a little easier to change the bands on I don't know you can let me know if you know um, the Galaxy, you got to do, you know, have that little, I think there's like a little tool that I have. I have to go back. I haven't changed this one in a long time. What is on my arm? It made a mark, weird mark on my arm. Uh, but there's pins in them. This one I like just because it attaches like that. And plus it's kind of cute. Uh, but so behind here, yeah, you have to get, oh, I have to clean it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I told you I don't like cleaning. Um, but yeah, there's there's pins that hold it into this part here, and that's what those pins are for. And so you have to get them in here, and I think I have a little tool to do that. So they go in this little piece there, and then those pins. Um, so the little part that's sticking up on that pin moves, so it pulls that little piece of the pin in, and then it hooks into it you know I don't know if that's making sense so you have that stick you pull that you put it in here put the stick in here and then you take that little part that stands up pull this way the pin shrinks inside of here and then it goes into the watch you let it go and it's now attached to the watch is the thought process behind this and then once it's on there it's got the little chain okay so here's what it looks like absolutely beautiful beautiful so it's this rose gold look to it, and then it's got the beautiful little, you know, fake rhinestones, whatever, in it. 
And then, so those are the sides. So those will go around your wrists, you know, like that. Pretty. Um, and then once this is attached to your watch, to get the watch off and on your arm, you would have this little piece here that you squeeze. And then you can pull, pull the things through there. Like that, to make it long enough to get your wrist in there. And then once it's on you, you would hold on to the little ball squeeze the toggle and then pull it to whatever size your wrist was but I thought that might be kind of cute even though my watch is silver but I don't mind mixing the metals but then to have that on there if I was going out somewhere nice I don't know we'll see silver probably would have looked better but I liked this <laughs> so we'll see did they even have a picture where it's on a watch so you can see I don't think they did Okay, so it tells you how to put it on your wrist. It doesn't tell you how to put it on the watch, but it's like a fake watch. It's very subtle there. See how it's got a fake face on it? So it would attach there and there, and then it just hang off your wrist. Anyway, if I get it working, I will try and shoot a picture to y'all if I like it. But let me make sure. Yep, that's it for this order. So I hope you enjoyed this order. I love everything in this order i mean this for work is going to make that part of my job easier i do have a big spreadsheet i have to work on so this will help me hold all the papers up there um this little <laughs> cat with a fish tank is going to be fun probably do it this weekend because i hate waiting uh these as i said i've been dying for so yay i can put this and come on down ah. This and this in my garden, on my patio this weekend. So yay, that'll make that look even prettier. I got my dress for next week. And that is it for me. So I hope you enjoyed this Timu haul. I hope maybe I inspired you to go look for something or maybe one of my items you like and you want to go get it. Like I said, the links are below if you want the exact items. Always check for your price adjustments. Always use that if you can. Some of you said it doesn't work for you. Uh, but like I said, here, let me quickly. Um, if you called up an item. Come on, baby. Let me see. Here's an item. So so if I wanted to order this chair, but, but the price was too much, I would click on this picture. And then you see right here is a little camera. I pick a, here, I'll show you. There's a picture of a camera. It's this this first symbol right there and so you click on that and it goes in and it figures it out and then it shows you all these chairs from different sellers and you can see like I mean the price is $55, $60, $63, $9, $10, $20, $30, $40, $50, $60, $70, $80, $90, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $
not that I'm saying I would stop, but I would like to be able to make that decision uh, based on how I feel about working, not based on, you know, I financially can't kind of a thing. That makes sense. So I'm working on getting that debt down. Then the next thing, once I get all those paid, however long that takes, I get all those paid for. I'd like to finish paying for my car. Um, get that out of That's a huge expense. Get that out of there. And then eventually getting this house paid for. And then I would be able to be like, oh, now I can make a decision on retiring based on what do I want to do with my life compared to, you know, be financially able to do that. Or I could decide I want to keep my mind active. I want to keep my body active. I'm going to keep working um, and just have this extra income and travel more or whatever, you know. So, But I want to be able to make that decision instead of be like, I have to keep working because I can't afford not to, which is where I am now. So, um, but I wouldn't retire now anyway. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so that's my goals in life. So I have to I have to figure out, you know, how far I want to go in this job with the keeping a nice work-life balance, right? I don't want to be working more than 40 hours. I don't want to be so stressed out by it that I'm not enjoying my job kind of thing. So I really have to think that through. But at the moment, forget the future for a little bit and just gain all the information I can from my coworker before she leaves, figure out, have them finally talk to me about what this exactly means as far as responsibilities because we haven't got there yet. Um, my new boss, <laughs> or at least the head boss, that's still a decision too on who's going to be really over me and that's a little apprehensive thing for me right now. Uh, but um, the one that's above my coworker, uh, who I ultimately would report to is a very kind, sweet man, great at his job, very fair, firm, but fair kind of a guy. And I, I, I will enjoy working for him, but he just had another, he, I think it's his third uh, new baby. So he's been out of the office for a while. So that's why it's kind of in the limbo. They wanted me to know about it, but then the actual details of it have had to wait until, yeah, he gets back in the office and has time to breathe and, and get with me on that because he's in Houston and I'm here in Dallas. So anyway, that's that. Um, but anyway, yeah, so yeah, upcoming. Uh, yeah, my trip's getting closer, closer. So I'm excited and I really need it. <laughs> but, and if you do too, you'll be coming with me. So I hope you will look forward to that and I hope you enjoy that. And if you want to see any past trips of mine, they're all in my videos. I've taken videos on almost every trip, at least in the last few years that, that I've gone on. Um, I didn't do Greece. I don't think much of Greece. I'm not sure. I might have. I might not have. Uh, but my favorite trip ever. Um, but yeah, once I started doing the YouTube channel, especially, I was doing them. But I was doing them for my Facebook friends anyway, because they, they loved it. Um, and they always requested, please... I would do a video at night saying good night and then I would end it with on my balcony and I would end it with just me shutting up and the viewers being able to just hear and see the waves because it's just so calming and refreshing and wonderful to me and people were like keep doing that please we love that part of it so that'll be part of it <laughs> and this is the cruise that's just me so we will go together okay guys I uh, love y'all. Thanks for watching again and have an amazing whatever it is for you. I know I have my Sweden people and my Canada people and and uh, I know you might be on different time schedules. Even in the same country, we're on different time schedules. So whatever it is for you, I hope it's good. All right. Take care of yourselves. And uh, if you're having financial difficulties, come along with me on my journey. <laughs> Let's get through this together, right? All right, y'all, thanks. And thanks for your amazing supportive comments when I have mentioned this before. And I don't mention it for you to be like, oh, I have to give her money. That's not my intention. I just like to be real. And I think, at least for me, when I watch different people or talk to different people in real life or whatever, um, or when I used to transcribe medical reports and stuff, seeing somebody in the same situation as myself, um, worse, better, whatever, or somebody that was in the situation and made it better... Uh, and how they did that, that just helps me personally a lot. So I can't be the only person like that. So if me sharing with you my struggles, my joys, my achievements, uh, my failures, whatever it is, 
sharing it with you, maybe it'll hit home with you and maybe make you feel like, at the least, like I'm not alone or don't even feel guilty going, I'm glad that's not me. You know, we've all been there, right? Like, oh, knock on wood, that's not me. Uh, thank God I did better financially. And a lot of you, a lot of you probably have. Um, but, but So however you want to view it, if it makes you feel a little better or a little less stressed about something, or maybe if it helps you even to say, oh, that's a great idea. Let me try that. Maybe that'll help me out or whatever. I hope I can do that for at least one of you out there um, anytime I share a part of my life. And that's why I do it. And like if you've lost a beloved, a beloved best friend, buddy, everything, um, animal in your life, you know I've been through it and I feel you. I feel you right here, you know, like my baby. So, and I know you all have helped me get through that if we ever get through that. Um, and I hope I've helped you. I know some of you have some animals and you know who you are I won't call you out but that you're worried about very worried about um either age wise of your animals or health wise of your animals i'm still here for you i'm still praying for your pets and uh we'll, we'll all get through it right it's life unfortunately those parts are part of life and we have to go through them but just keep looking at all the joy those animals gave you through their life and their devotion to you and if we have to if we have to go through a little pain to honor what they gave to us all those years, then we can do it, right? We can do it. It was worth it. Whatever I'm paying now was worth it to have her in my life for 13 years. So uh, I'm there with y'all. I'm, I'm, yeah, my heart's with you. So know that. And I hope that makes you feel even just a tiny, tiny bit better or um, just be able to cope even a tiny bit more. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. But anyway, uh, I was crying all day yesterday too, watching Facebook stuff on all these animals and children. And they were all making me blubber like an idiot. And so I guess my body just needs that release right at this moment in time for whatever reason. So I'm um, letting it happen. Um, I was watching one where a little little toddler, oh my God, a little toddler was on the beach. I don't know if you've seen this on Facebook. He's on the beach. And his little dog was next to him, and he was walking, but that, that just learned toddler walk, and on the sand, like, you go, kid. Uh, but the dog just kept by his side so he could keep his hand on him, and every time he'd almost fall, the dog would go up next to him, like, hold on to me, bud, I'm here for you. And I was just like, ah. So, yeah. <laughs> and blubber like, whoa. So. But sometimes our bodies need that, right? Just that release, just that extra blood out of us, and then we can go on with life. Anyway, I hope I've helped somebody out there today, and I uh, hope you enjoyed my video. Hope you are enjoying life, and uh, yeah, love you guys. See you later. Bye.